Hey, John here from Leaf and Spirits. Um, had a little bit of weather. Uh, they said uh, something like 10 inches of snow. Uh, I should know. I'm stuck on the side of the road because Vince has decided to uh, hang out down in the adequate arena or the vault. And uh, he's uh, sampling uh, some kind of drugstore Captain Black tobacco and our good monkey shoulder. So, you know, thrilled for that while I'm sitting here waiting for a tow truck for the last 45 minutes. Hey, Vince. Enjoy your pairing. Thanks, John. So today, Captain Black. Old school pipe tobacco from the drugstore. What's it taste like? We're going to find out. Smell vanilla. Straight from the package. All right. Uh, so what about the beverage? I don't have any Glen Karens up here at my home. Took them all down to the adequate arena. Oh, yeah. Monkey shoulder. Get that malt funk. A little caramel. And there's a dark spice. Maybe clove or something. Maybe I heard that somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, that dark spice. I'm going to try it with some OG Captain Black pipe tobacco. Captain Black is in every drugstore in the United States. I have smoked Captain Black many times because the only tobacconists we have are either gas stations or uh, cigar shops. And the cigar shops just do not care about the pipes. Uh, there's one I can get, uh, you know, some aromatics. They they blend their own aromatics, whatever. To get real good English, Latakia blends, uh, you know, Virginia Orientals, that you know, that good stuff with all that enjoyable flavor. Well, we can't get that around here. Uh, so I have found that. Hey, Captain Black. I've tried a couple of the other ones, and uh, I like this one the best. I've, seen, I've watched some reviews about this, and people are hating on it a lot. I mean, I, I know it's, no, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but we're going to find out. I'm going to really bear down and try to figure out what's going on with this Captain Black. Now, this is, you're going to get this, uh, I think it's an ounce and a half. I paid like nine bucks for it. You can get it cheaper in other places. Uh, this is even as low as six dollars, but it's 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 more inexpensive and it's very available. It's an aromatic. They you know say it's an aromatic, but I get a lot of. Uh, well, we'll find out. I don't want to tell you because I've smoked this. I always have this uh, because I order my tobacco online. You know, I get my cigars in the shops. I don't want to. I'm not big on the ordering on the internet, I'm sorry. But I know that, uh, oh, I gotta, hold on, I gotta get some matches. I'm gonna go into the specially constructed. Leaf and Spirit Humidor. I always got some matches in it. And I got the bag inside the bag and inside the box. It's like a bag hat on a hat. Oh, and this is our next one. This is our next cigar. I'll just give you a sneak peek. John don't even know about it. Old school. Fuente. Classic. Hemingway Classic. We did the Hemingway short story. I liked it, man. I, that is what a cigar should be like. That's an every, uh, well, not an everyday cigar, but <laughs> it's not an everyday cigar. If, if I had money, this would be an everyday cigar, but I do not have money right now. Maybe someday. But, uh, and then I just got Bovida packs in there. 
I got uh, I get them for like a dollar at my cigar shop. When they ship cigars to these cigar shops, they give them boba packs, and uh, you know they sell them for like a buck. It was great. So of course, smoking a pipe. You have a pre light. Uh, any new smokers? You just uh, get that flame. And hold it above. Uh -uh. So that's the pre light. And I just leave this light it and set it down, man. You know, uh, think about my day or try to forget my day. Captain Blackwell gets you by tonight. A lot of wood. Burnt wood. I use that as a note in cigars all the time. Yeah, I burnt wood, almost a pepper and a spice on the retro. Mm. You got to live with it for a minute, though. Think about pipes. I get that vanilla. I know, I know what they're talking about. This is something that uh, you have to can't get this too hot if you get this tobacco too hot it doesn't it just doesn't taste good so you gotta play with it and get what it has out of it that's the thing about see pipes are a little different you have to there's nuances you have to maintain when you're smoking a pipe you're smoking the pipe that's what you're doing. This is just something to enhance it. And if, it, if it's not enhancing it, do something else. Even water is better than a bad pairing. I got a cherry and a wood now, see? It's sweet. It's an aromatic. Uh, the rim smells nice. My wife loves it when I smoke this. Compared to uh, smoking my, my like Latakias, my Latakia blends and stuff. Uh, that's smells like uh, a forest fire. Yeah, vanilla. It's like a... a it's a little creamy now. You have to know how to play with this, man. You have to know how to smoke to enjoy this. It's not that bad. I have a lot of bad reviews. Uh, it's not complex. There's not a lot going on. It's oily. This is a... <clears throat> this is... Uh, Black Cavendish, Burley, and uh, I don't know if there's a little Virginia in this or not. But it's three. I know it's a blend of three. It's a, but it's an aromatic. It's mostly Cavendish. It's mostly black Cavendish uh, flavored tobacco. It's not that bad. It's just you can't uh, you can't puff it like it's uh, going like you're going to the races. I like it. Uh, you know, as far as a scotch, uh, I'm going to pair uh, scotches with pipes more often just because I think they go better together. And it just feels better together. What are you doing? Smoking a pipe, drinking some scotch. What are you doing? It, it, it changes to me. I mean, the, the, bowl, the bowl seems to have changed. I get a, a really sweet wood. Like a sweet cedar, if that's a possible thing. 
on the tongue. It's a lot of vanilla. Sweet vanilla and a pepper. I get it. It's a clove, you know, because it's not cinnamon, but it's a similar experience. It's darker and pepperier. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, it's clove. <laughs> so, power of suggestion, or maybe that's just in there. Uh, it, it's just you have to look for it. You, you have to smoke it. It's, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a tobacco that needs to be smoked cold. You can't get all uh, hyper about it. You're sitting down having a, having a little cocktail. This would go great with a Manhattan. Oh, yeah, with that cherry from the Manhattan and that, yeah, that sweetness. Oh. I don't smoke a lot of aromatics, uh, but I always have uh, this on hand. I just opened it up, but Captain Black. This side, not that bad, man. It, and it, it pairs perfect with the monkey shoulder. I was on it. I just wanted the monkey shoulder, but I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. So, should you buy some Captain Black? Give it a shot, man.